Hello, we are here with um, with, with Reed. I don't see the Brandon actually Mellington. Brandon Mellington, and he will talk with us about uh, a things called uh, Project Orchards. So, uh, can you tell us a little bit first what's your role in Microsoft and what do you do here? Uh, well, I've been working on the ASP.NET uh, framework team for a number of years. It's about 99, I'd say, so almost uh, almost you know, 10 or 11 years. 11 years. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and so, uh, kind of worked on all aspects of the, the web platform technology tools uh, as a program manager. And program. so, now working on uh, an application building effort on top of the ASP.NET platform, which we call Project Orchard. Yeah. Mm. And uh, what's what's the buzz around this around this uh, orchard? Why why do you push it so? Uh, why do you guys push it this project so so much? Because you started in TechEd and then you talk about it uh, here in uh, MVP Global Summit, and I guess we don't stop, right? <laughs> right. Hopefully it doesn't stop. So, <laughs> so uh, the idea behind the orchard is to um, build applications on top of, of ASP.NET. And unlike uh, some previous efforts uh, from the ASP.NET product group, um, where we kind of focused on samples or education through starter kits, uh, what we really want to do with Orchard is build you know, real applications, real-world applications. Production-ready. Production-ready applications that appeal to a number of different audiences, um, from end users who just want to get a site up and running quickly, you know, not necessarily writing code or as developers, um, all the way to you know, designers who want to be able to customize and scan and clean those, those sites, to uh, developers who want to extend those sites uh, with new functionality um, and kind of build, you know, build new extensions, new modules, things along those lines. Um, another thing we sort of realize in the application landscape is, and you know, we've done a really good job, um, uh, you know, Microsoft Technologies of appealing to a, a professional developer, somebody who, you know, understands the core concepts in .NET. Uh, we, we do probably a less good of a job of appealing to kind of what we call a, a breadth developer, or somebody who, you know, pretty much knows um, a wide range of technologies, a wide range of libraries, um, JavaScript, HTML, CSS. Not necessarily a professional developer, but somewhere in between. And uh, so we think there's room to kind of put a layer above the core .NET uh, you know, framework APIs, above MVC, above ASP.NET, that's more sort of application focused and, and more breadth developer oriented. So basically, so this is a fully open sourced uh, project, right? Everybody can modify it, can play with it, can take sources and everything. And the license, I guess, it's uh, Apache. Uh, what it's a it? BSD license. BSD and license. It is in fact an open source project. Um, we chose the BSD license particularly because it's a very permissive license. We want you know as many people to be able to utilize Orchard as possible. Um, so you know something that's proprietary compatible, something that's GPL compatible. Yeah, yeah. A lot of those things, uh, attributes of the license we looked at. Mm -hmm. BSD seemed like a great choice. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that's sort of a recent uh, uh, kind of advancement is the, this uh, uh, construction of the, the Codeplex Foundation. Um, the sort of Codeplex. Oh, right. Co Codeplex Foundation, which is something different than the Codeplex.com, right? Yeah, this Codeplex Foundation is on Codeplex.org? Or Correct. Codeplex.org yeah. rather than Codeplex.com. So Codeplex.com is you know, a, a source repository, you know, infrastructure for, for running projects, whereas Codeplex.org is, is uh, really a sort of a, a legal entity um, kind of set up to, to sort of bridge the gap between open source uh, communities and um, commercial entities. Mm -hmm. And that's really their, their primary mission. And so uh, one of the ways that, uh, that, one of the things that it does for us uh, as, as Microsoft um, is allow sort of Microsoft employees to um, contribute and participate in open source communities, you know, at the same level that... that the Without any legal uh, involvement. Certainly creates basically. a framework in which we mm -hmm. can do that. Uh, mm -hmm. We can do that. And so um, the first gallery introduced in the Codeplex Foundation is the ASP.NET Open Source Gallery. We have three projects in it today. There's uh, the uh, ASP.NET HX library. Uh, went in in its entirety. Um, there's Project Orchard and now uh, also the MVC Contrib yeah, yeah. project. Uh, and so uh, that's, that's one of the great things about Orchard is, you know, although it's a Microsoft sponsored project and uh, there's a full time uh, staff of, of uh, working developers on it. working on it from within Microsoft, we expect it to really be, you know, a, a, a community open source project. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's kind of take on a life of its own. So this is sort of a way that we can sort of sponsor and provide dedicated resources into an open source project, mm -hmm. um, and yet uh, have it sort of owned by the community as opposed to you know, by, by Microsoft. And, and so. the delivery vehicle, it's a web PI, right? 
the uh, how the eventually uh, it will be in the WebPI gallery. Uh, we certainly want um, want a, a very simple setup experience. Um, anything from manual zip extraction and point of browser at it, mm -hmm. answer a few questions, and you're up and running. Mm -hmm. Um, to you know, integration with the WebPI experience. So, uh, although it's not in the gallery today, um, certainly that's the goal to have that kind of seamless setup. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you.